I have been kind of bored with the current state of Elden Ring speedrunning, so let's make it a bit more spicy. I'm gonna try to perform a glitchless speedrun using only incantations as a means of dealing damage. An any percent speedrun means that we need to defeat two shard bearers, access the capital, defeat Morgoth and the fire giant, acquire the rune of death and defeat the final boss. Usually in glitchless any percent speedruns people mostly resort to using the serpent hunter, and for good reason though, it's extremely powerful and convenient. Using nothing but spells on the other hand increases the difficulty by quite a bit, cause spells are a lot less flexible and require a lot more setup to deal similar or greater amounts of damage. With this attempt I'm aiming to beat the game in under 3 hours. So let's get this started. Alright, we need to get the crafting kit first, that's why we popped the rune beforehand. Like the three incantations needed for this run are Black Flame, Cat Flame and uh, Pest Threads. Those are the incantations that we need. Alright, Melina give me my horse. Alright, Storm Hill, we need to grab this Grace. Uh, let's go grab Golden Vow, because that is the only patch where all of the known glitches are, that are used are actually still ex in existence. Incantations are only OP in a sense when you actually know how to use them. Wait, do I need to get a... yes. I forgot I need to buy this. Okay. Let's get to the round table. Uh, give me Ashes of War. Give me that. Put that on. But there are so many cool ones I can't really, like, pick favorites. Come on, do your melee attacks, don't do the jumping bullshit attacks. But he's dead, perfect. Okay. Grab the Sacred Tear. Grab the Physics Flask. What do we need to do now? We need Faith Knot, right? My brain today is not functioning at all. Like, it does not work. That's what, that's what, that's what happens when you're sleep deprived. Uh, bro, I'm not singing like I'm, I'm in a relationship for the last three years. Uh, we need to go to Fingers and the Academy. I hate this jump from the bottom of my heart. And there we go. That's how you know it's gonna be a good speedrun. I'm kind of like mad at From Software for creating an arena where I can fall off, but Malekith cannot fall off. Oh! Animation cancel. <laughs> it's kind of rewards you for paying attention. Let's get that and let's go. But for, no, for most playthroughs. AOI of Sauron. The main aspect of this route is to acquire the spell Howl of Shabriri. It's a flat 25% buff to all types of damage, but the downside is that it increases the damage you take by 35%. Since this is a speedrun, we don't want to be hit anyways, so we can just reap the benefits. You don't normally see this in the meta runs, cause people don't really rock a fate build with at least 33 into fate. But with this run, we can definitely afford it. Uh, let's go to Margit. Costa is an absolute monster. A monster of stupidity. What? Burn his tail. Mark it down. Better. There is a rhythm to these ballistas, which is kind of like sometimes difficult to exploit. Rats, time for you to die. I've died so many times to these rats while getting this incantation, so I'm always killing the rats for now. Could I support Morocco and get beaten up? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so we can get Black Flame. Black Flame is OP. I love how I'm always breaking at least one chair every time I rest in this place. I'm more worried about that one, to be honest with you. Catch, uh, catch fine. Black Flame is the key here. Good fight. Alright, Godric, stop the monologuing, and I need to go now to get abducted. Okay, don't get grabbed, don't get grabbed, perfect, perfect, wonderful. Activate this bastard, come here. Grab me, you idiot. Grab me! You fool. You're the one who died. <laughs> oh my god. Grab me! Thank you. So many hugs in this area, it's actually kind of funny. 
plus five plus six and then we're gonna get the grace in this place and, and then we need to fight the virgin abductor duo which is always a pain in the ass i also need to get the earth tree seal here i earth tree seal where are you kill me guy okay thank you grab the grace and I hate the Lopsas mainly because of the sewers. I don't really hate them too much in Liurnia, but in the sewers they are so annoying. One, two, three, four. Strength and armaments. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't have a good strategy for these guys, to be completely honest with you guys. They're just gonna kind of improvise. I forgot to switch the spell. <laughs> Back here and then start charging the first fireball. Yes, it actually works. Oh, I'm dead. Ooh, almost died. Come on, lock on to the other one. Oh my god. Honestly, it's faster to kill them if you just uh, fight them with catch flame, but this is safer. <gasps> I made a mistake. Oh my god. I forgot he does the follow-up, I completely forgot. Should be dead. There we go. Bye-bye, Virgin. Yeah, I almost got bonked. Thankfully, I was out of range. Thankfully, I was out of range. So close. In any case, let's go first get the Ritual Sword Talisman. Alright, let's destroy Gilika. Absolutely. This is the only boss I can legitimately destroy every single time. Now that I said that, she's going to destroy me. Bye bye, Gilek. <laughs> okay, th this is the only boss that I cannot be worried about ever in my in any of my runs. We shall sort out some boys. All right, let's go to Grail Barrow. We are now off to clear Millicent's questline. The reason for that is twofold. First, we need the incantation Pestreds from our boy Gauri. This spell is necessary because there is still the Fire Giant, and there is no way I'm beating him with just Catch Flame or Black Flame. We need something that isn't fire. Second, we want to pick up Flux Canvas Talisman. Both of those two things are acquired at the same time, so that works out perfectly. But before all that, we need to take care of Commander O'Neill in the Ionian Swamp. Our efforts will be paid off though with an amazingly quick Fire Giant and Elven Beast fight, believe me. Let's blast his ass. Catch Flame! His archers are really dangerous, so I need to avoid the arrows while hitting me with the Black Flame. And he's dead. Commander O'Neill is very easy with Black Flame. Very, very easy. Yes, I can give you a second. Keep time, boys. We are one hour in. Perfect. Give me the power of Nut Millicent. Oh, let's go pick up the Prosthesis Error or the Valkyrie's Prosthesis. There is our. Oh my god, I forgot this guy. Exists. Oh. That is always so scary when I do it. Getting that close to a cleaner at night is not good for your mental health. Not at all. Time to die, Millicent. So Gauri can die. Thank you. Let's continue. Joking. should die. <laughs> oh, he tried to jump. Give me the token of farewell. Perfect. We quit out here so we can teleport. Blast his ass. Almost died there. Bye bye! Draconic 3 Sent Moon. We hop here. Oh my god, he actually missed! Jesus! That was fucking close, man! 
First level move down. Perfect. Okay. Jesus Christ. But it seems if I hit him with this and then that. And Morgoth is dead. <laughs> bye bye, Morgoth. Let's get the fire giant, boys. Let's get him off our list. I am actually allowed to not level Vigor, guys, because I'm actually doing a speedrun. Oh, these carrots, I swear to God. Okay, let's go. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Okay, the fire giant is not cooperating. At all. The fire giant boys is not cooperating. Like, at all. Why you gotta be like that, man? Honest to God. Didn't have enough damage, unfortunately, to kill him here. Honestly, we're, we're killing fire giant with like a plus... Six seal. This is actually insane. I can't. I I forgot to level my seal, guys. It's it's plus six. It's not plus eight, and he's still dead. Like this is how strong test threads are. All right, the God can do a time, boys. This is gonna be a disaster. This avoids him entirely. Nice. Try this again. Thank you. Speedruns turn your brain dead, yeah. It's kind of true. It's not that, because I'm reading the chat as well. If I if I were doing this, like, live... I got out of stamina. I'm reading... He's dead? What the hell is going on today? Did I switch from Hollow Shabriri? Yes, I did. Bro, we are doing over... Over 1k damage with this spell. It's actually... <gasps> what happened right now? Jesus Christ. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay, he's dead, thankfully. Now we have to deal with the birds, and then we have to deal with Malekith. Pray to Jesus. How do you avoid this without losing your sanity? Like, you have to wait. You have to wait here sometimes, and the birds can just chip you away. The bird aggroed, I repeat. The bird fucking aggroed. Go away, bird. Now, dragon, please be nice to me. I just want to grab the plus 10 there. Oh, no, 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 no! No! <laughs> okay, dragon. Okay, dragon. Uh, all right. The bane of my goddamn existence. And his name is Malekith. Okay, plus 10, perfect. Thou who approach of destined death, come on. <gasps> ah, I said it's highly unlikely because I'm always mess up something. So he does the fight with combo. Ooh. Okay, we are in a perfect position here, boys. Perfect, perfect. Malekith down! The key is to stick to his furry cheeks, yeah. Because he does give you time to, like, charge this. Yeah, that works perfect. That was a good strategy. Don't really need that. Uh, we'll get it. I missed that one, but... Woo! Oh! Do we have enough damage here? That's the question. Bye bye, got free. Burned your ass. GG. This is the easiest fight in the game, honestly. It's not that more powerful than other things in the game. For Radagon, though, it's absolutely disgusting.
Radagon just disappears immediately. Now look at this, guys. Look at this, guys. Oh, this is spicy. Oh, he's almost dead. <laughs> well, he's dead after this. You're not gonna get those Elden Stars up. Nah, 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 nah. No Elden Stars for you. Nah, 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 nah. GG! And so, with my initial goal achieved, beating Elden Ring in other 3 hours using nothing but incantations and nothing on the final boss in epic fashion. Subscribe for more of this content and tell me in the comments down below if you enjoy more of these speedruns. They really are fun to plan and do. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one.